Hi, hi, how's it going, guys? Today, I want to talk about something that's really important to me. No, it's not the color green, just because I'm wearing a lot of it. It is sexuality. And, more importantly, sexual diversity, uh, being accepting of other sexualities and gender identities. But, I'm mostly going to be talking today about asexuality, and my sexuality, which is demisexuality, which is on the asexuality spectrum. And I want you to understand it a little better. I want you to know what I am. I want you to know what I'm about. And uh, this is a thing that's really important to me. So let's get right into it, shall we? Hey, there's no mic up on my hand. Okay, first of all, I am demisexual and demiromantic. I'm coming out to you now as that. I've come out before, with especially with my dad, I've come out every step of my journey to understanding my sexuality. I've told him everything. I told him I thought I was a lesbian when I was a kid. I told him I thought I was bi after I hit my teenage years and started having interesting guys again. Um, I uh, eventually, though, found out I don't fit either of those, really. Because it's not that someone's a male or a female that I notice. I'm a person who can only fall for people that I'm close to. I can't do it unless there's a strong bond with them. And that could be my borderline personality disorder. I don't know. But I looked it up online with a friend who was asexual. And uh, he had told me that there's a big that asexuality is a spectrum, it's not just one sexuality, which is a really interesting thing to me in general. I think it's important you know that too. But uh, we found right on the list of things that count in the asexuality spectrum, demisexual or demiromantic, which perfectly described my need for a strong bond before I can have any form of attraction to a person. Um, now, that is not to say I can't recognize someone as being handsome or beautiful. I recognize attractive people. I just wouldn't want to sleep with them or go on a date with them. And that goes for celebrities too. I don't know them. I don't want to deal with that. I basically am under the uh, motto of friends first because literally I can only fall for people I'm friendly with or very close to in a friendly way. Um, let's see. The reason I wanted to talk about this today, by the way, is that this week is Asexuality Awareness Month. I was going to wear the colors of the demisexual flag, which are purple, black, and white, but I don't have purple lipstick and or white or black, and I really messed up my eyeshadow that was going to be all three of them because of that. So I don't look like I have eyes right now. You can only see my eyes if I go like this. Otherwise, I see your glare or this. You basically just see a black, dark void where my eyes should be. And that's okay, because I live in a void. I, uh, I think a lot of us live in a void of... We don't fully understand who we are, but we figure out something about how who we are, and people start rejecting us. It's a dark endless cycle of hate. I mean, you don't like it when people put you down, do you? And that's how it feels when we are denied the ability to claim our sexual identity or our gender identity. I am cisgender. I was born female. I feel like I'm supposed to be a female. I'm all good with that. But I want you to remember that transgender people are still people. A lot of people don't treat them that way, and I think that's horrible. I have a lot of friends who are transgender, mostly female to male, and I've been watching them go through different processes to reach their goal of becoming the man they feel they are. And honestly, I am so proud of them. I am so touched by their ability to keep moving forward when there's adversity. I'm the type who's really bad with conflict. For me, being told I can't be who I am just makes me go curl up in a ball and cry. I came out to my father 
for the first time and he accepted it right away. In fact, he had the gut feeling I was interested in women or girls. And uh, so when I came out to him saying, I think I'm a lesbian, he was not surprised at all. My grandmother, on the other hand, to this day, assumes any sexuality I claim is a phase, and I will definitely give her great-grandchildren. That's her entire goal in life, is to have great-grandchildren. I mean, be honest. My grandmother, the only reason I think she was against me liking girls was we couldn't have a baby together. I am not a hugely sexual person in general. I will admit I'm a virgin, and uh, I'm happy that way. I don't mind it. Um, so for me, I really don't care, and uh, that drives her insane, <laughs> which is kind of funny and also kind of sad. But uh, anyway. When I came out to her in the first time, she just said, it's a phase, you'll, you'll get over it. But uh, then during Hurricane Sandy, my father, grandmother, and I were stuck in a hotel room together because neither of us had power. Um, basically, uh, I walked out of the bathroom to hear my dad getting on my grandmother's case because she was talking about my phase again. and. Uh, we ended up having a long discussion about, hey, I'm not straight, and uh, I was really hurt when you said it was a fake, and basically dissed about my uh, personal feelings, and my realization that I was so pr proud of myself to declare. And uh, we got through it a little bit. She said she understood, but she clearly didn't, because to this day she still says it's a phase. But, uh, I don't know if I'll ever have a sexual relationship. I love my boyfriend as we are right now. Neither of us is really pushing for sex. And, uh, I'm okay with that because, hey, I'm demisexual. The only reason I'm attracted to him is because I know him well and I feel close to him. I love him. And that's what makes me want to do anything with him. But... I'm not going to rush. To me, what matters is we're happy. And, uh, I think that for everyone. So, if you are asexual and you are still struggling with it, or if you're a lesbian and struggling with that, no matter what your sexuality is, know that there are people who are rooting for you. I am one of those people. I am rooting for you to find your happiness, no matter what anyone says. Don't don't let other people decide your sexuality and gender identity for you. You should be allowed to be who you are, who you are inside, and you shouldn't have to hide it just because other people find it weird or don't get it. And I think that's why we have Asexuality Awareness Week to speak. It's to spread the existence of asexuality spread information about it, about the entire spectrum, and uh, I think that's a really important thing, and I think we need that for a lot more things that are stigmatized in this world, because I think if we could stop the stigma, everyone's lives would be so much better, so much better, oh my god. I'm lucky, I have my father who is amazing and always supports me, and I know a lot of people don't have that, and I just want you to know you have an ally, you have friends, I'm certain you'll have, you have allies and friends that support you, and if nothing else, I certainly do. So if you like this video at all, press the like button, think of subscribing, I do random things a lot, but this one was really deep and important to me. I do things on books and games and other things, so I do a lot of things. Um, but you don't have to subscribe if you don't want to. It would be an honor to me if you did, though. Um, and I'd love it if you would comment just by anything. Comment your coming out story or 
comment how you feel about mine. Whatever the case, just leave a comment and I look forward to seeing them. Anyway, this has been Angelina Rollick, and uh, see you later.